If you're thinking of getting into trail running and you don't know where to start, trust me, you do not need half as much kit as you think you do. Like, you don't need a running hat, you don't need an expensive running vest, you don't need expensive headphones, you don't even need a sports watch. Get this. And most controversially of all, controversially, you don't even need trail running shoes. In fact, I'm running right now in a pair of my wife's slippers. That's Glenar Forest Park in Northern Ireland, up in the glens of Antrim. And this is one of the reasons I started trail running. And I hope that in this series of videos, I can encourage you to go out and start trail running and start discovering places all around where you live as well. Trail running is just so, so different than running on the roads because, well, I don't think I need to justify it. <laughs> go back, watch the first video in this series where I give you this incredible montage of the places I've got to trail run over the past two, three years. And at the end of that, if you don't understand the argument for trail running, I could do nothing else for you. If you're new to this channel, I'm a filmmaker who likes to run. So if you look around the channel, you'll find a weird mix, mix, a weird mix, a weird mix of camera gadgets and running videos. But this series is all about an introduction to trail running. In this very, very first video, I'm going to start with really, really simple basics, just how to get out there, how to get started, what's the minimum kit you need, um, and then in future videos, then we'll go into a lot more detail on things like gear. We'll, go, we'll look at a lot more equipment, packs, watches, everything. Um, I'll look more at a little bit like technique. You, nutrition, um, injuries, everybody loves injuries. Not getting them, but talking about them. Runners just love to talk about getting hurt. Um, and I'll talk about how to find roots near you, and most importantly, I'll also cover the very important topic of uh, how to poop against the tree. But let's start with a definition of what actually is trail running, because once you get into it, you realize that there's actually a few disciplines tied up within the one name. For me, I keep it simple. For me, trail running is any kind of running that's not on a paved road or pavement. So that includes everything from this, which is like really well maintained forest track, all the way up to running up over open hills and mountains. This is where you want to start before you work your way up to the open hills, because once you get up there, ankle stability is really important and you won't have that if you're not used to running off road yet. Oh yes, and cross country is also kind of tied up in with this. And like those crazy assault course mud runs are also arguably trail running. But for most people, it means stuff like this. Riding around trails and forests, or as I said, heading up into the hills. An essential part of trail running is, of course, to stop and admire the views. <laughs> okay, so let's talk kit. What do you actually need? Let's talk about how to find locations. Then I'll talk just a really quick bit about technique. First of all, kit. If you're already a runner, you actually do have everything you need to start running trails. On, on trails like this, I just run on my road shoes a lot of the time. You really don't need specific trail shoes. Where specific trail shoes come in use is if you start to run like really wet, slippy ground, or you head off like way up somewhere like that where you're off road. That is where the more aggressive tread can come in use. So if you already have run, running shoes, just go out and they work perfectly fine on on trails like this where it's relatively smooth. If you do want to buy something specific, you could start with what I'm wearing or something similar. 
These are just a cheap pair of New Balance trail running shoes. They cost me like 40, 50 quid. Um, I've been wearing these for over a year and these would be my go-to type of shoes for trails like this. I wouldn't wear the really aggressive ones when I'm heading up off-road. And just another point which is connected to that, when you're getting started, as I've said earlier, don't go off-road. Stick to the trails until you build up a little bit of ankle stability. If you haven't run it all before, grab yourself the basics. Get a cheap pair of trail runners, get a pair of shorts, get a, a running t-shirt, and that's really it. All you need to get started, unless you're doing like crazy long distances. To be honest, one of the biggest problems you probably have at the start is where to put your car keys, because with trail running, you're not running from home. So it can be useful to get yourself a running belt. I'll just show you a basic one here. This is what I would use a lot of the time just for running. It's just a simple belt. You can get a water bottle, goes in the back here, and then I can put my phone in here and it's got a place for my keys. I'm not sure if this needs to be said, but you know, for obvious reasons, don't go running in slippers. You know, because Louise is going to kill me. Oh. Oh. Trail running does involve a lot of running up hills, which can be absolutely exhausting if you're not used to running up hills. Easiest advice to tell you how to get used to it is you don't have to run up the hills. <laughs> In actual full official trail races, half the time, a lot of people are just walking up the hills. But if you want to get better at running up hills, sprint a little bit, walk a little bit, sprint a little bit and build it up. I'll cover it in more detail in a later video. Whew. Okay, so that's you kitted out with the basic kit you need to get started. We'll cover kit in more detail. I mean, once you get into like more remote locations or longer runs, there's a lot more stuff you will need, but not when you're getting started, but you've got it all. Now the question is, where do you actually go to run? So, let's talk about how to find locations. And speaking of locations, So how do you find places like this? Well, the answer is quite simple. Come to Northern Ireland. Um, but if that's not a choice and you want to find forest areas near you, which might not be just as beautiful, but you know, would still be suitable for trail running, here's what I do. There's a number of things I do. If you're in Northern Ireland, there's a website called Walk NI. It's a brilliant resource. Um, so yeah, websites like that. Check out like local tourism websites. Facebook groups. Find a local trail running Facebook group. And then chatting to people uh, when you're out as well. And maybe they'll recommend something. So one of the, my most favourite routes is a route way up over there. Up a loop around uh, a mountain called Troston. And I only found that route because I said hello to a runner one day. We got chatting for five minutes and he mentioned there's this old uh, abandoned railway line that goes around there. Anyway, I found one of my favorite routes just by talking to other runners, um, which is a good point. If you're not a member of a running club, joining running clubs, uh, especially ones that have a trail, good trail running, um, a good trail running community is also a good method. And then once you find somewhere to run, if you've run before, you, you know what to do. But if you've never run before, how do you even get started? It seems like an obvious question to those of us who've been running for years, but my advice to start for starting running is really simple. Turn up at wherever it is, have a look around, breathe it in, go for a walk, and at some point in the walk, you'll feel a little bounce of energy, and run, and run. And after a while, everything will start to hurt, and you stop, and you walk and you admire the view and once you feel good again you run a little further and you just rinse and you repeat and gradually you extend the time that you're running and before you know it you'll be running for miles it's the most enjoyable way to start running rather than like beating yourself up and putting yourself under pressure go out enjoy it build up and before you know it you will have that trail runner smile on your face After a lot of running along there, grinning like an idiot in various poses, I looked down to see three forestry men standing around a quad bike just staring up at me. Ah, That's the other thing you need to get used to if you're going to start running. You're going to look silly running. Just, just embrace it. I'll see you in the next one. 
Stephen J. Reed does not accept any liability for injuries sustained from running in slippers. Yes. Yeah.